Hello guys, no audio output device is installed. You are having this error in Windows 10 or Windows 7. We can fix this error in few steps. You can see here, this is my speaker. A few days ago, I was having a cross sign in this speaker. And do you know how I fixed this issue? I can show you all the necessary possible issue and the solution. 100% guarantee it will work for you. Even for Windows 7 and even for Windows 10. Give a right click on that speaker and troubleshoot the sound problem. Click on that. It will show you the same window detecting problem. While detecting the problem, it will show you some error message. Okay. What error message it will show? I'll just show you right now. Right now here, I am sure that it is not going to detect any problem or any necessary hardware change. So I can cancel it and now I'll show you what all necessary error it can show. Go to my computer, click on manage. I also tried this troubleshooting and detecting the problem, but it did not work for me. Just give one try, it may work for you. So what is the next solution I tried? You can see here, sound, a turn off sound effect and enhancement. Enhancement might cause the audio to stop properly. Okay, so you can just click here and open enhancement. And you can see here everything is correct. It is not disabled, immediate sound, everything is okay. So just cancel it. And what was the next? Uh, even this did not work for me. And what was the next? Uh, I tried after this. Open, go to the my computer and open. Sorry, I shown you. Go to the my computer and open manage. In manage, go to the device manager. Once you go to the device manager, go to the sound, video and game controller. You can see a Realtek high definition sound and uh, sorry, Realtek high definition audio. It was installed in my PC too. Click on update driver and check if your issue is solved. Okay, the base driver software for your device is already installed. Same message for me also. I tried this but it did not work for me. Try uninstalling and installing your Realtek driver again. Scan for the hardware change and let's see if it fixed the issue. None of these work for me. If it works for you, okay, otherwise go for the next solution. You can go here in the action, okay. You can see here add legacy hardware. Click on add legacy hardware. At first select, let me tell you, instead of you may be selecting this one and go to the add legacy hardware, at first you take this Realtek high definition audio, select this one and go to view and go to action and go to add legacy hardware and click on next. Okay, search and install the hardware automatically. Next. Okay, the wizard did not find any hardware on your computer, still click on next. And if you have a motherboard CD, just click on next. Okay, and click on have a disk and show the location of your motherboard CD in your my computer PC. Once you show the location of your motherboard CD, it might be in drive E and all. So you can just show the location. Right now I don't have motherboard CD because I have already tried this uh, solution. If you have in your pen drive, you can just show the location of pen drive. And just click on OK and just click on Next. It will install the necessary hardware from that particular motherboard CD or pen drive. If that does not work, I even tried for that and it did not work for me. So what is the next solution? Let me tell you if you are using the eSonic motherboard, especially when you use the eSonic motherboard, 
you get this kind of problem. And even for some of other motherboard, you get uh, this kind of problem. So it doesn't matter whether you are using the eSony motherboard or any other mode. Now the last and the final solution is go and open your Chrome browser and go on the top of the browser and type R-E-A-L-T-A-K, Realtek. And you can see here Realtek, www.realtek.com. Otherwise just go, to on the, go on the top of the URL uh, space and just go and type www.realtek, Realtek.com. That will take you to the Realtek Genin website. Once you open this website, you can see here SD audio codec driver. Click on it. You can see here high definition audio codec. You accept the license terms and condition and click on next. You can check here different version of audio driver for Windows, Linux is available over here. If you are having this problem in your Linux motherboard, you can just Download that driver from here, Linux 3.0 driver and Linux 2.0 driver. If you are having this problem in Windows PC, you can driver, sorry, you can download a driver for Windows PC over here. If you are using Windows 7, 8.1, 8 and 10, 32 bit operating system, you can download this one. If 64 bit operating system, you can download this one. If you are on uh, better, if you do not know whether you have a 32 bit or 64 bit, just go for the option where it is. You can see here 32 bit slash 64 bit. Download this one. If you are confused and you are don't know which one to download, you can download this zip file also. But if you don't know to extract the zip file, just go for this. You can download the 32 bit and 64 bit driver and just open the folder where you have just downloaded the driver and click on setup.exe. Once you run that setup, Click on next, next, follow the wizard and your sound driver will be installed in any motherboard, especially eSonic and any motherboard you have this issue, 100% guarantee this problem will be solved. I was worried for many days and finally I got this solution and I tried to share my solution with the people having this no audio driver installed. So if you have this issue, no audio output driver installed, I have just discussed about many more issue, many more way to solve the issue and solution for different problems. So just go with these solutions and 100% I guarantee you the issue will be solved even in Windows and Linux. So if you really like this video, if you just think this video has helped you, just keep a thumbs up and just don't forget to subscribe my channel. Have a nice day.